What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, back to the series. We are taking on Wake Forest in our final game of the season. We are 10 and 1, ranked 21st, taking on a lesser team in Wake Forest. Uh, I don't know if the gameplay looks any better to you guys. Uh, it, looks a, it looks better to me. It looks like it's running smoother. I might just be saying that because I want it to be the case. But I wanted to give a shout out to Ritual Sign 94910 for uh, recommending I get the other cables, the component cables, rather than just the regular red, white, and yellow AV cables. It seems like it runs smoother to me. Again, maybe I'm just hoping that that's the case. All the same, shout out to my guy. I ordered those cables and I got them in and I like it. I'm happy about this. That being said, no matter what happens in this game, we are playing in the SEC championship game. And that will be whoever wins against Arkansas, or I guess between Arkansas, and LSU this week. So, picking up after all that, halfway through the first quarter, and Andrews up the middle, picks up the first down for Wake Forest. Hand off to Andrews again, and he gets near another first down, but it will bring up fourth. They would punt the ball to the Commodores. Second and 12, handoff of the middle of Jackson Gibson gets a decent gain. It's third and eight. We need the first down, we're rolling out. And really, essentially throwing that one away, except down the middle of the field like, like a fool. But here we are. Andrews, one juke out to the right side, and I knew, based on the game against Tennessee, a star halfback is gonna make big plays against us. That's just what we do. We give up big plays, that's our thing. All the same, second and six, we throw an incomplete pass over throwing Walker there, and just for good measure, there is a holding penalty. So we're gonna bring in Bennett, see if we can't get anything going with our, with our foolery, with our trickery. And he is up the sideline. He's cutting over to the middle of the field. He's getting caught by number 10, but he is going to make it into the end zone, breaking his own personal record from last week against Tennessee when he ran for 85-yard touchdown. That one is 87. And this one's over the middle to Selman. Big gain. Gets some near midfield, picking up the first down on a 19-yard pass. That would end the first quarter. We are tied at 7. Skinner. And up to Marion, going nowhere. Skinner running out, going nowhere. They would have to punt the ball back to your Vanderbilt Commodores. And Nixon is looking. Nixon probably should have just kept running. Tries to get that to Bennett. He was in the zone. It is intercepted instead. And low on the reverse. In for the touchdown is low. Nixon hit as he throws intercepted by Vaughn he's brought down by Smith they will take over on their side of midfield and quickly move to our side of midfield third and five Andrews Andrews out to nearly the 30 yard line he is having a heck of a day already over 100 yards in the first half Skinner avoids the sack and he is loose Tim Tebow style Touchdown for Skinner. Wake Forest up 21 to 7. Bennett gonna roll out, has to throw this one, gets lucky with the catch by Smith. Never like to see Bennett have to throw it, but we have got to do what we have got to do at this point. Run the option, pitch out, it is knocked away and picked up by Curry of Wake Forest. Three turnovers to zero is the story in this one. Andrews, pretty good chunk picked up there. Six yard run. The clock is ticking down on the first half. And they hand off to Bryant. A lot like that play with Lowe, but they don't pick up the first down. They do get, or they get the first down. They don't pick up the touchdown. My apologies. Andrews with another big gain. Eight yard run, second and two. Play fake. Skinner avoids one sack from Goff, but he is brought down by Bryant. 
third and eight just over a minute to go handoff to Andrews up the middle on the draw gets near the first down marker does not pick it up Wake Forest would settle for a field goal and it is 24 to 7 now Nixon hoping to get something going here he's rolling he's looking he's got Walker pass complete to Walker he fumbles Mason picks it up Bennett being controlled by the computer and not me <clears throat> Skinner huge gain inside the 30 and by the grace of the heavens Goff gets the interception off of the deflection Nixon's got all day to run to the right he's going to pick up quite a bit get out about the 30 yard line that's a 19 yard run trying to get something on the board dangerous deep pass Bennett makes the play there is a flag however and this would be roughing the passer so that'll tack 15 yards or 12 yards my apologies on to the end of the big play we would get a field goal out of that 24 to 10 Nixon rolls left He's got room to go. Gets out of bounds after picking up the first down. Nixon drops back. Rolls right. He's got Robertson. Why did I say Robertson? It's Anderson. My goodness. Anderson with a big play. Play fake from Nixon. Nixon's going to run this one. Looking for a block from Walker that he does not get. Gets to about the 31-yard line on a 16-yard run. And Bennett needs a block. Bennett doesn't get that block, but Bennett picks up the first down across the 20 yard line on a 10 yard run. Nixon's looking. Nixon hits Bennett for the first down inside the 10. And the worst thing that could ever happen to this team, Earl Bennett, is injured. Jackson Gibson up the middle, untouched though. It is 17 24. We are within a touchdown of Wake Forest and then Andrews fumbles I was about to say breaks loose fumbles the football Langford picks it up we will start this drive on the good side of the 50 yard line hand off to Jackson Gibson gets it across the first down marker hand off again still waiting for Bennett to get back into this game Lord knows we need him, especially now. Just a, just a jailbreak again. Just where do you go? Got to get the ball out sooner, I suppose. Nixon looking. Nixon rolling. Chased, running for his life. He throws it deep for Washington. He's our fastest receiver with Bennett out. And he gets they had man coverage across all four receivers, and everybody else was blitzing. So we do get into the end zone for the touchdown. Andrews picks up a big run, 21 attempts, 170 yards, but we have the game tied. They go man in motion, play fake. And they get it out to Mary, and Allen does make the tackle, but not before the first down is picked up. Skinner dropping back. Skinner got time. Skinner picked off by Bugs. Bugs coming up huge for the Commodores. Now Nixon dropping back. Nixon in a hurry. Nixon throws as he is hit as he throws. Smith gets the ball right back for the Demon Deacons. We go into the fourth quarter now. That's a fourth down. They're going to have to punt the football. Oh, they're going to go for it. My mistake. Skinner, he runs. Goes nowhere. That's a turnover. Ball game still tied at 24. Nixon looking. Still no Bennett. Throws it deep, overthrows, we punt. Double fake on the handoff there. And then, yeah. Yeah. One foot in bounds. That's all you need. Play fake to Andrew Skinner. Looking Skinner hit hard by Lewis. Rub some dirt on it. That ought to help. Skinner looking Skinner. Oh, avoids the sack. Good move from Skinner. And they called that a first down. Do you, I mean, do you see? 
see what they're trying to do to me here so not cool clearly I'm not even didn't even get a foot on the right side of, I don't know anyway Nixon drops back throws deep picked by Barry Barry drags Washington six Vanderbilt turnovers Skinner loose down inside the 10 first down we have allowed an average of 91 rushing yards they're pushing 300 in this game handoff to Andrews goes nowhere handoff to Andrews again stopped at the goal line they would go for the field goal here with time running out trying to take a field goal lead it's blocked the defense comes up big Langford jumps on it a minute 24 to go Nixon throws it's picked off by Smith and that is that we lose to Wake Forest next episode we'll be taking on either LSU or Arkansas hopefully we won't have what eight turnovers seven turnovers whatever it was and hopefully we can at least end the season as a conference champion even after this embarrassing pitiful performance tisk tisk but until then y'all just do it to it